Pyruvate is the end product of glycolysis. It is formed from dephosphorylation of phosphoenol pyruvate by pyruvate kinase. After glycolysis, pyruvate has four major fates. Under anaerobic conditions, pyruvate undergo fermentation. In hypoxic or low oxygen animal tissues, such as very active skeletal muscle, pyruvate is reduced to lactate by lactate dehydrogenase coupled to the oxidation of NADH to NAD+, which is required by glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase to continue glycolysis. Lactate formed by active skeletal muscles can be recycled in the liver through the core recycle, which will be talked about in a future video. On the other hand, yeast and other microorganisms carry out ethanol fermentation. First, pyruvate is converted to acetaldehyde by pyruvate decarboxylase, which requires thiamine pyrophosphate or TPP derived from vitamin B1 as coenzyme. Acetaldehyde is then reduced to ethanol by alcohol dehydrogenase, coupled to the oxidation of NADH to NAD+. Under aerobic conditions, glucose is ultimately oxidized to carbon dioxide and water via the citric acid cycle and the respiratory chain. Before entering the citric acid cycle, pyruvate is first oxidized to carbon dioxide and acetyl-CoA by the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex, which consists of three distinct enzymes and five different cofactors. Enzyme 1 is known as pyruvate dehydrogenase. It is similar to pyruvate decarboxylase, in which carbon-1 of pyruvate is released as carbon dioxide, and carbon-2 is attached to the prosthetic coenzyme thiamine pyrophosphate or TPP, forming the hydroxyethyl TPP complex. Next, the hydroxyethyl group is oxidized to acetyl group, coupled with the reduction of lipoylysine group, which is part of the prosthetic coenzyme lipoic acid of the second enzyme dihydroxylipoyltransacetylase, forming TPP and acyl-lipoylysine. Next, dihydroxylipoyltransacetylase transfer the acetyl group on lipoylysine onto coenzyme A, forming acetyl-CoA and a reduced lipolysine. Next, the third enzyme dihydroxylipoyldehydrogenase oxidizes lipolysine coupled to the reduction of FAD coenzyme to FADH2. In the last step, FADH2 is reoxidized to FAD, which is coupled to the reduction of NAD plus to NADH. In summary, pyruvate dehydrogenase complex catalyzes the oxidative decarboxylation of pyruvate to acetyl-CoA with three distinct enzymes. Enzyme 1, called pyruvate dehydrogenase, has a prosthetic coenzyme TPP, which decarboxylates pyruvate. And enzyme 2 dihydroxylipoyltransacetylase contains the prosthetic coenzyme lipoic acid, which contains lone lipoylysol arm that swings between the active sites of the three enzymes and catalyzes the transfer of acetyl group to coenzyme A, which is a co-substrate rather than a prosthetic coenzyme. The third enzyme dihydroxylipoyldehydrogenase contains the prosthetic coenzyme FAD, which functions in regeneration of the oxidized form of lipoylysine coupled to the reduction of the co-substrate NAD to NADH. The pyruvate dehydrogenase complex is an example of substrate channeling, in which intermediates of a multi-step sequence never leave the complex. The product acetyl-CoA then enters the citric acid cycle. Pyruvate dehydrogenase complex is inhibited under high energy state through allosteric inhibition of ATP acetyl-CoA, NADH, and fatty acids, and it is activated on low energy state by AMP, coenzyme A, NAD+, and calcium cation. Pyruvate can also participate in anaplerotic reactions of the citric acid cycle. Anaplerosis is the act of replenishing intermediates that have been extracted for biosynthesis. Pyruvate can be directly converted to two different intermediates of the citric acid cycle. It can be converted to oxaloacetate by the enzyme pyruvate carboxylase, which requires biotin as a cofactor for carbon dioxide transfer and the cleavage of an ATP molecule. Pyruvate can also be converted to malate by malic enzyme, which is coupled to the oxidation of NADPH to NADP+, or NADH to NAD+. Lastly, pyruvate is an important intermediate in amino acid metabolism. Pyruvate can interconfer with alanine by the enzyme alanine transaminase, 
or alanine amino transferase, which catalyzes the transfer of amino group from glutamate onto pyruvate by the coenzyme pyridoxal phosphate or PLP, forming alpha-ketoglutarate and alanine. Several amino acids are also catabolized to pyruvate, including threonine, glycine, serine, cysteine, and tryptophan. Pyruvate also serves as a precursor to branched-chain amino acids, leucine, isoleucine, and valine.